Welcome to this MM Guardian tutorial. My name is Coley, and in this video, I'll guide you through the process of installing and setting up the MM Guardian Child app on your child's iPhone. I do recommend installing and registering the parent app on your own phone first, but you can install and register the apps in whatever order you choose. To begin the process, get hold of your child's iPhone, open the App Store, and search for MM Guardian. You'll see that there are two MM Guardian apps to download. We are going to download the app with the green icon background named MM Guardian Parental Control, not the MM Guardian Parent app with the mostly gray icon, which is the app for your own phone. So after you've selected the child phone app, you'll be able to download it just like any other app. And you'll notice the very low rating due to all the kids who love rating it one star. After the app is downloaded, you can open it. You will see a pop-up message asking you if you want to give MM Guardian access to photos. Be sure to select uh, Allow Access to All Photos, which is necessary for MM Guardian's AI to detect inappropriate pictures saved on the phone. The first screen that you'll see relates to Apple Mobile Device Management. As an approved supplier of device management functions for Apple devices, we are required to show this to you. When you tap continue, you'll be shown the MM Guardian privacy and then terms agreements. Uh, then tap I agree. We take our users privacy extremely seriously and we don't share data with third parties or sell it or anything like that. So you can rest assured that your privacy is a top priority for us. Next, you'll be taken to the registration page. If you've already made an account on our website or in your parent app, tap log in and enter your account email and password and then name the device. Most parents name the device the name of their child. If you're not sure what email you used, you can find it at the top left menu of your parent app. I'm going to sign up for a new account for this example. After you submit everything, you'll be asked to confirm your email address is correct. So be sure to double check it and make sure it's correct with no typos. Next, you'll be taken to the enrollment screen. And here you'll begin the process of installing the device management profile for MM Guardian. Just tap enroll and you'll be taken to a browser with follow-up instructions. Once here, tap the Install Profile button to begin the installation. You'll see a pop-up asking you if you want to download it, so tap Allow. After it has downloaded, you'll need to exit out of the MM Guardian application and open the Settings app. Tap on Profile Downloaded at the top, then tap the Install button on the upper right. You'll need to enter the phone's passcode here, and then you'll see another install button to tap. You'll then be taken to a consent screen. So tap next in the upper right corner, and then once again, tap install in the upper right corner. Another pop-up will be shown asking you to trust the source of this download. So tap trust, and then you'll be done. While you're in settings, go to the settings main menu then scroll down until you find MM Guardian. Once you found it and opened it, tap on Location and change it to Always, which is necessary to get your child's location from your parent app. Now reopen the child phone app. The app will check that the device management enrollment was successful and then automatically set itself to child use mode. Unlike the Android app, you cannot set any configurations here. So to set the app to act as a web browser, you must enable the web filter function in your parent app. For more details, please see our tutorial video on the web filter. Also, if you will be using the web filter function, it will be necessary to block use of Safari on the child's device. This can be done using the Apple screen time function. For more instructions on that, you can go to mmguardian.com slash screen dash time dash 
MM Guardian for step-by-step -step guidance. If you wish to monitor your child's messages and receive alerts about concerning messages, you'll need to download the MM Guardian Sync app onto your home computer. You will receive an email with instructions for doing that along with another tutorial video, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. And that's all for this video. As always, if you have questions or require assistance at any point, please feel free to email us at support at mmguardian.com and our support team will be more than happy to assist you. Thanks for watching.